All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, in this short video, what I want to do is talk about three different ways of troubleshooting and debugging our code. Uh, and you'll see the three that's listed here, commenting out code, logging output to console, and then using some of the tools that we find within the editor as well as within the browser. And so let's go ahead and take a look at the first one here, uh, commenting out our code. So I'm going to bring up the code that we worked on from last time uh, in the previous videos. And so you'll see that here we just have our, our script that starts is done internally here. We have it starts on line 59 and goes down to uh, line 88. Um, but JavaScript is a very finicky language, and that's the word I, I chose to use to kind of describe JavaScript. But finicky in the sense that it, you know if you have something that's misspelled or something that's not capitalized, for instance, if I have get elements by ID on line number 79 here, if I remove the Y, right? Uh, this will potentially break my code. Or if I have a syntax error where I remove this parenthesis here, um, it will it will break my code and my entire script will not work. So one of the things I can do is I can comment out my code uh, to try to figure out where the error lies. Again, um, there's a lot more more powerful tools that we can use to troubleshoot this, but nonetheless, commenting is always a, a tried and true uh, way of uh, troubleshooting. So let's save this and let's render this in the browser. So here's our, our rendered output uh, and you'll see that if this was working correctly here we would be able to click on this button it would show us the date and we'll be able to click on this button it would show us uh, the student data but nothing is working at this point point. Um, and so one of the things I can do here is try to figure out what is going on. Um, so I'll go back to my code here. Um, I know that everything that I've declared here there's there may not be an issue with that or I can I can see that um, but I may want to get down here when I get down here right obviously the, the editor has given us like this red squiggly and it's letting us know that something is not correct but it's not necessarily turn, telling us where the error lies and so one of the things I can do here is potentially comment out this area of my code uh, save it and see if it and then rendered it back in the, the browser uh, and see if it'll work. So if I refresh, okay, okay, this one works, right? And so what that does, it lets me know that the, the issue that I'm having is coming somewhere from uh, the function uh, or the add event listener that's going to be triggering a date. So that's one way of kind of using comments to troubleshoot your code. Like I said, this is not probably not the best example, but nonetheless, you can kind of see how you can use those comments to block out certain parts of your code to kind of minimize your script so that you can do your own uh, troubleshooting. Now, like I said, there is a lot more, uh, there's more, there's better tools to help us do this. And so if I were to keep the same error here and I were to save this and go back to the browser, one of the first things you want to do whenever you, you have some code that's not running, right? I would say go ahead and open up the, the Google Chrome Developer Tools, right click and inspect, and then move over to the source or the console tab. And a lot of times it'll tell you um, where, that it, where that error lies. And so here, if you click on, line, click on this statement here on the right, on line 81, it'll show us that, hey, there's something that's wrong in this particular statement, that there's something, the error is somewhere here uh, in our code. And then if we go back to the console, it's, it's letting us know that we're missing a closing uh, parenthesis here. All right, another um, effective way of uh, troubleshooting our code here is logging information out to the console. Um, and that's the console within the browser. And so let's jump back in our code here. Let's fix our error here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna declare a variable. I'm gonna add another statement here that's gonna hold the text that I wanna put inside of the inner HTML of the the element that has the ID of date output. So I'll say var text output equals, and what I'm going to do is just copy this here. And for this, I'll just say text output. And so one of the things that I typically do a lot um, when I'm doing JavaScript coding or any other coding for that matter is I do a lot of console.logs or basically output information to the console just to see if things are triggering or my variables are actually holding the data that it's supposed to. And so here I'll just say text output 
Um, and then that lets me know. And when I'm when I actually render this in the browser, I'll inspect the code and go to the console to see if it's actually assigning uh, today's date, uh, whatever that date is, to text the variable text output. So let's go ahead and actually uh, open this in our browser here, and then let's see what outputs to the console. So right click, and then we're going to open a default browser. Uh, and what we're going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to press F12 on my keyboard, or you can just do right click and then inspect. Um, and so here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click. Here's the date, right? And then you'll see that what happened here is that it actually outputted the information that I had within the variable text output. That lets me know, and what that does is it helps, it helps me to understand that uh, that there's certain data that's being assigned to certain variables. And this is a quick way of troubleshooting your code. And so if there was an error where a variable is not assigning something, I will see in a console that, hey, that variable is not holding any data or any um, or any information. And so um, logging information, log in information out to the console is effective. And you'll see that uh, if you look at any of my scripts uh, from the past, I'll have a lot of these in here. And I sometimes forget to take them out when I put it into production. But like I said, this helps me know that certain things are happening at certain parts within my code. The last thing here, I'm not going to go into a really extensive example or, or, or go into how to use these particular tools. Um, because for most of what we're going to be doing for these for this particular uh, juncture in JavaScript, we're not necessarily going to need a lot of debugging functionality that these tools contain. But um, let me just show you how to access them. So it, there's the, the debugging functionality that's built into the browser. So if we go back to our code um, and you go down to sources here, uh, you can troubleshoot your code. Uh, you'll see that there's a watch, there's a call stack, there's a scope. And like I said, this is the part I'm not going to necessarily get into. If you take any other courses with me, I'll have another video on this um, and other courses about how to use some of the debugging functionality. But just know that you can uh, debug your code using uh, the debugger that's actually built into um, uh, uh, Chrome. I did, if you do want to find out some more information about that, I did put together some steps here, step one, step two, step three. Um, now you, you may have to recreate this script or write this code and put it in, create an HTML document that has some of these HTML elements. But nonetheless, if you do want to dig into this here, uh, feel free to uh, recreate the HTML document, create a file called calc.js, and then create some HTML documents, uh, uh, some elements that have the ID attribute box one, box two, and box three. And you should be able to walk through these various steps. Last but not least, there is a debugger uh, that's inside of, that's built inside of Chrome. Not Chrome, but uh, Visual Studio Code. Uh, and here is one of the icons. So if you click on uh, this, the fourth icon down, if you click on run, this is where you can actually open up a file and begin to debug your JavaScript file. Uh, again, there's a lot of good information online related to uh, using the debugging functionality within Visual Studio Code. Uh, Go to YouTube, or you could go to some other uh, tutorial site, um, and they'll walk you through how to use this particular tool and how to troubleshoot your JavaScript code. For the most part, I would say tend to rely upon if you just if you have an error in your code, go to console, and a lot of times it'll show you uh, where your error is at in your code, um, and that will uh, pretty much do the job for most of what we'll be doing in this class. All right, guys. Then I'm gonna put a. I'm gonna wrap this video. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. We're gonna talk about um, functions and um, objects and how to create our own user-defined objects. Um, and so that'll be in the next video here. Stay, stay, so stay tuned.